You're watching Dialed In, Sporting Times video podcasts on stfanclub.com. Hi, how are you? I'm doing fine. How are you doing? Welcome to Dialed In. Awesome. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm surviving. I um you know, I'm I'm very interested and I'm, and thank you for talking with us today, but you know, you are a senior at Greenwood High School. Yes. Uh, you were able to participate uh, in your sport in the yes. fall. Not only did you participate, but you won a state championship. Yes. What And, and I know your junior year, and for our, our listeners, the junior year towards the end, you had to sit out for a region championship game. Yes, yes, sir, I did. So just kind of put it in perspective because you sat out for – a region championship, but you played in your final season as a senior. Mm -hmm. What do you think some of your 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 friends are going through uh, not playing spring sports? Yeah, I cannot even imagine it. Um, junior year was tough for me, and I missed the last five games, yeah. and I had a whole other season. So, you know, the whole time I was hurt, I was like, you know what, it's okay. I'm going to have a whole nother year. I still got time. And me too, I'm playing college soccer. So this is not the end for me. But some of my friends, I mean, my, you know, my track friends, baseball friends, softball friends, that was it. That was their last season. Yeah. And at this point, it's it's not looking like that. But they've all been really positive um, and they've handled it really well. So I will give them credit for that. So – as a student that had the brakes put on, and like you said, you're headed to Auburn to play soccer, but as a student, you know, coming into the final couple of months of your, your high school mm -hmm. uh, career uh, and the brakes were put on, what is that like for you? What what have you missed, um, you know, most these last several weeks? I've missed just getting to play with people. Um, passing against the wall kind of gets tiring when you do it for <laughs> an hour every single day. But um, I'm making the most of what I can. But I do miss, you know, just getting out on the field and getting getting to play with my friends, um, you know, just the game all together because you yeah. can't – there's a lot of things that you can substitute. Like you can substitute running or lifting, but you cannot mirror that. 11 v 11 game like situation right right and that's i think that's just the hardest part about all of it but school itself you know not going to class and not seeing your friends on a daily basis and not participating i don't know if they had prom or they didn't have prom or mm -hmm. or just the interaction with uh teachers you know b being your final year um is that been surreal for you yeah, it's been really tough. They, um, we have not had our prom, and it will probably not happen. But it is different, you know, and I was getting in such a routine of going to school, going home, going to soccer practice. And then now yeah. I don't have a structure. I don't get to see – there's probably some people I may never see again that I had no idea I wouldn't see again. Um, and that's the hard part about it, and knowing that, my last day of high school was probably just a random Friday in March. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. I think the craziest part is just how unpredictable everything is right now. Um, but me and then my fellow athletes were just staying as positive as we can and making the most out of what we can. You know, I was thinking about you and, and how many years you have actually played organized soccer and you talked mm -hmm. about the structure, the routine, especially uh, in the later years as you played more club and, and you know, you were going to Nashville. And, mm -hmm. and for that to come to a stop, that had to be just crazy hard to get your arms around, you know, that routine that you've been doing for years. Yeah. Let me do a stop. Yeah. So that, I mean – I've been driving down there for six years now and the spring is always the time where I get to focus on club because we obviously have high school in the fall. So we were just starting to kind of hit our stride and go to tournaments in other States and start to, you know, travel everywhere. And that's something that I really look forward to doing. And then all of a sudden, bam, 
it was just stopped. Um, so I'm just having to be as creative as I can and finding different ways to train myself um, and push yeah. myself in this environment because it's not easy. It's definitely not easy when when it's just me instead of, right. you know, 15 other girls on the team pushing me. Sure, sure. Now, you are headed to Auburn. Have you had yeah. much correspondence with the coach? You know, are they – is there a lot of uh, correspondence back and forth or is everybody kind of in a wait and see pattern? Yeah. Um, they actually last week sent us our fitness packet. So that's just kind of, you know, baseline, like what we should be times we should be hitting and stuff to keep us in shape. And we are going to do me and the other 2020 recruits are going to do a zoom call with the coaches, you know, the online yeah. FaceTime um, next week. And okay. hopefully we'll get more answers with that. Um, like like everything else, it's just it's just unpredictable. So right. So so have you been doing any uh, Netflix binging? Yes, I I don't think I can make it through this time without Netflix. If we're being <laughs> quite honest. So I, do you want I to watch... share with us what you've been? Uh, what does a a all stater, uh, all Gatorade? Auburn, uh, future Auburn soccer star, binge watch on Netflix. I watch Criminal Minds. Okay. Um, it gives, you know, it's a little spooky, and I like the way that they think <laughs> on there. So, And there's a lot of seasons and a lot of episodes, so it gives me something, a good way to, to use my time. Right, right. So, so what about uh, what about dietary? Now, you can only imagine what mine has been like. Um, <laughs> and but I mean, have you, you know, what has it been like? Or is it more? Is it more pizzas? Is it, are you trying to? Is it just been crazy to, you know, keep on top of that or what? Yeah, um, there's good and bad. I get bored, and when I'm bored, I like to eat. Um, <laughs> so that's kind of my biggest struggle. But I do have more opportunities to actually cook food, you know, yeah. cook like chicken and vegetables. So I usually don't have time to do that. It's usually a grab and go. But, right. you know, I've I've gotten to, to learn more about nutrition and the foods that I'm putting into my body because, again, I have more time. Right. Um, I would say I've done a decent job. I definitely have my days where, you know, I eat a lot, but yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to control myself. I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. Well, listen, uh, Anna, I, I hope I hope that you guys get to go back to Greenwood. I hope all the kids get to go back to school, it, it, at least for maybe a couple of weeks. I don't know where it's headed. Um, but if not, uh, congratulations again. I've told Thank you a million you. times on a great career. And uh, definitely I will be in touch, and we will be watching your career and following you at Auburn University. Yes, sir. Awesome. You're watching Dialed In, Sporting Times video podcasts on stfanclub.com. Watch or listen to Dialed In on stfanclub.com. We want to hear from you. Connect with us on stfanclub.com slash dialed in.